Well, here it is, September 2nd, or 3rd, I'm not really sure. Um, on our way to go scout some land. Okay, so we were driving down the road and we saw an elk. I made Dustin turn around. We're on our way back to see if it's still standing there. It was literally standing in somebody's front yard. On both. Did you see it moving? Yeah. Oh my god. Welcome back to Boom Hook and Hoof. Today we're going over the no, not the MP shield. Today we are going over the Stealth Gear Revolution holster. This here is Stealth Gear's how do I want to call this uh, economy line appendix holster. It is the Revolution series, and got a price tag on it of $64. That's with free shipping on Amazon. It is 100% USA made. It's very breathable. It's actually a very comfortable holster. As you can see, the back of this bends and flexes with your body. Um, I wore this holster for roughly... Oh, four days, I believe. Picture the inside, outside, it's got this, the cool design on it. It does come with an extra clip, so you can have two clips on it, or you can reduce it down and just use the one clip. Their website says, it's a single flexible layer of pro pro proprietary polymer material with soft suede-like backing, which I'll agree with that. No break-in time required. Um, they do offer other holsters. They offer the Stealth Gear Revolution Inside the Waistband Mini. They offer the Stealth Gear Revolution Inside the Waistband Standard. And the Stealth Gear Revolution Appendix Single, Appendix? Appendix? Single Mag Carrier. Now, I do have this for my shield, and as you can see, it's got good retention. A little hard to get, a little hard to get out of there at times. I've seen reviews where it said they were tearing up the slides of the guns with these holsters, but I haven't seen where there's any markings on this holster or on the on the slide from this holster. People might just need to adjust the tension on it, which is fully adjusted. There's three screws on this side and one screw on this side to adjust your tension. I'd say it's got, it's got good retention, but not too much. Oh, just so everybody knows, this, this has been safety checked. Um... I went over price point already, $64 plus free shipping. If you have any questions on it, I'd love to try to answer them. Now, uh, let me change out holsters here. I'm currently wearing the Tier 1 Aegis or Agus or however you pronounce that for my Glock 19 minus the mag carrier. And it is a lot more comfortable without the extra mag carrier on there. But... Put that off the side because this review has nothing to do with that. So, load this up. I like to wear a shirt behind it just because it digs into my skin a little bit. Because my belly's a little bit large. But, comfortable as can be, I can sit down anywhere, hide this, and I'm a bigger guy. There's no issues with it. It's actually in my opinion, more comfortable than what the Tier 1 is. But I think that's just my size compared with the gun size. 
And I think the gun just digs in my belly a little more than it should. But, hey, until I lose some weight, you'll have that. So, that's how it sits. Um, I will be doing a review on this belt also. It might be a couple weeks. I'm going to fully test it out and see how long it takes to actually work to tear because the belt I actually picked up, it's a fairly, well, I shouldn't say it's a stiff belt. It's stiffer than most of your leather belts, but not st as stiff as I'd like it for a gun belt. I'll be getting a review out on the Stealth Gear Revolution mini holster here in sometime this week. I've got both of them. I've been wearing both of them. I've been trying them out. If you have to choose one and you want to carry appendix, I highly recommend the Stealth Gear Revolution appendix inside the waist. If you like this video, like and subscribe. And I'll get some more reviews up. Thanks.